I have posted this question yesterday kung tama or mali pa ang mga terms na ginamit. Sit down and stand up. Pag-usapan natin yan dito sa Venturium. To answer that question, well, the answer is no. Mali po siyang gamitin natin itong mga terms na to because these are what we call redundancies or redundancy. When we talk about redundancy, this is the act of using words or phrases that repeats something else and is therefore unnecessary. Bakit siya unnecessary or bakit siya nagiging mali? Because sit is already down and stand is already up. Now, instead of saying sit down, we say please be seated or have a seat. Instead of saying stand up, we say please stand. Because kapag gamitin natin itong mga terms na to, sit down and stand up, naulit na po yung meaning. The meaning is repeated twice already, kaya nagiging mali siya. Now, bakit siya tama? Bakit kapag naririg natin siya nagiging tama? It is because these terms are acceptable already with the society. Tama na po siya kasi nga, tanggap na po siya kung, anong, kung ano yung salita na meron dito. Yan na po yung ginagamit natin siya. But, we need to avoid using these terms kapag nasa formal event, formal location, or formal writing na, na meron tayo. Hindi po siya pwedeng gamitin. But, with the society itself, pwedeng pwedeng natin siyang gamitin. Special with the casual conversation lamang po siya. So, ganun po ang uh, bakit siya tama, bakit siya nagiging tama, at bagay siya nagiging mali. So, there are a lot of words or phrases that we think it's right, but actually it's incorrect. So, pag-usapan natin yan by the next video. I hope you learned something today.